Speedball Mike Bailey here, Speed Vlog Mike Bailey. As you could tell, the show has already started. Uh, pre show match is underway. I am number four against Arrow Boy. I'm super excited for that. I'm excited for it as well. Oh, that's Carter Mason. Hello. Hello, my friend. I'm excited to be on a show with you. How's I'm it going? I'm excited to be on a show with you again uh, after fucking, what, three years? Hell yeah. yeah. Well, good to see you. Pleasure. Hell yeah. So let's have some fun. Keep you guys updated. Okay, friends, I am up in a second. Very excited for this one. Uh, Good crowd, fun ring, low ceiling. So I'll have to watch out for that.
done that arrow boy was something so I always say best wrestlers luchadors who then go to Japan Mexico is the best place in the world to learn movement the athletic side of professional wrestling and then you just go to Japan and structure and psychology is super important so you learn to put it all together there and arrow boy is an amazing example of that so we had a super fun match uh, super pumped about it and I am excited for tomorrow uh, Green Phantom is up next, so I'll go check that out. Space monkey, are you okay? Monkey, okay. What happened to monkey? Attack. You sure? Nurses attacked attack monkey. Who attacked? Nurses. Nurses? Yeah. What are we gonna do? Fight back. Fight back? <laughs> okay, gotcha. Thank you, space monkey. Let me get some ice for you, monkey. You. Green Phantom here. What's going on there, internet? Did you have fun? Uh, mostly, until that monkey got the best of me. Too much monkey business. I underestimated the monkey. I thought he'd be throwing shit. Instead, he threw some kicks and knocked me the hell out, brother. Did you know that someone beat him up after your match? Uh, I, I, I heard some business. I wasn't coming to save him because at that point, I wasn't too. I'm not on his side. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what are you gonna do? You know, monkey see, monkey do. I do not do. Monkey see, monkey do. Okay. Good morning, friends. It is officially day two. Uh, yesterday, my good friend Rip Impact took me to his lovely home where I spent the night. And we have a loaded day today with a seminar at uh, Hamilton Pro Wrestling School. Yes. And then a uh, show for Destiny. But first, we will be going to the first ever Tim Hortons in the world. In the, world, in the entire world. So I'm super excited about that. So check back with you guys in a second. Man himself. Okay, so here I got an extra large dark roast from the first ever Tim Hortons. They have this neat little upstairs section with a museum and they had the old school counter with all the old donuts and the old prices, which have somehow gone up, gone up since. And the uniforms and the, the, the roll up the rim section made me laugh. Uh, because I don't understand roll up the, the rim and I like uh, allegedly there are like cars and TVs to win but I've never heard of a single person who's won that but it's very cute it's a lot of fun and I'm uh, super happy I came here today so we shall move on Oh. 
how the audience would have reacted. Whoa. Oh, I cut off. As a result, the entire of yourself out in chain wrestling, you did not get a break. You did not get to go, okay, beginning over, let me walk around, let me take a few breaths, let the audience digest what they just saw. Okay, now let's go. Okay. To uh, when you trade forms, both up even, yeah. right? He's been heating you up for a minute. You ate a stalling suplex, a bat breaker, and one other thing. And you gave him one boot, and all of a sudden you're exchanging 50-50. Right? right? Should have been fighting from the bottom. For that. Should be him up, you working your way with the elbows, so you can finally give him a big one. That allows you to move to the touch. Even if it's light, we'll always get a better reaction than things that have an obvious trick behind it. You can get away with it once. I can do this real quick, and there's a lot of movement, maybe it's not that obvious, but when I'm doing things like this, everyone can tell, everyone can see I'm stopping. So, and why not? It doesn't have to be super loud, and people are literally right fucking there. Why couldn't I just go, yeah, yeah, hip, ah. Doesn't hurt that much. No one can watch and say, he's not hanging for real, because I am. So I always prioritize that instead of anything of that. And then matches kind of make themselves after a certain point. We know we have 12 minutes. This is your finish as much as you put it together, it takes four. Then we have to do, you know, shiny comeback, that's gonna take eight. Between four and eight, we have time for one falsy from you, and then a double down. And then we both do dives, so let's do double down and then dives and then go for the finish. And it makes itself. Most of the matches I have, with people that are good and know their stuff, that's how it goes. What do you do? You do this thing, did you have any ideas, any ideas? You do this, okay, so here's the match. And then just lay it out because we know there's a structure. It's very easy to agree. Some of the most complicated matches that I've had in my career have made themselves. This is your big shit, this is my big shit. Well, this is bigger than that, so it must go there. This is bigger than that, so it must go there. And this is bigger than this, so it must go there. And then this is my comeback, this is your comeback. There's 20 minutes. Okay, hello friends, here I am back. Since a few months, at this last month, exactly a month ago actually, at the Battle Arts Arena in Mississauga. And we're getting ready. Seminar went really well. Super happy with that. So I, my match changed once again for tonight. I was originally scheduled to fight Lionel Knight, which I was very excited about, but now there's been some changes in the card, so we'll see what happens. Introducing first, if he wins this match, he will receive a contract with Impact Wrestling. He is from the band to back.
I appreciate your manners, us as good Canadians, at least saying please. Yeah. Nearly three years ago, I stood right here in the center of this ring, and Scott Demore stood in front of me and he slapped a contract in my chest. He said, that border, that thing that stops people like you and me from doing what we do best, from reaching the heights we can reach, that was no more. I got a three-year deal and I got a visa into North America. All over. Scott Tomorrow looked me in the eyes and he said, here's your ticket. Do with it what you will. It's up to you to make the best of it. Tonight, hey, Mike Bailey, you kicked my ass all over this room.
I love you so much. Congratulations. Thank you, Rachel. I love you, man. What a night, friend. Thank you, Rachel.